We're finally here. Mm-hmm. We've made it to the end of the yeah. season. Yes, the Episode... long way, long feared. <laughs> What's going long on? Uh, feared. Yeah, kind of the the subject of a lot of speculation finale of The Last of Us. Comment showcase usually relates to the previous episodes. We'll do that. And then we'll talk a little bit about our fears for this episode, probably, and what I'm expecting versus the what we could be lucky enough to get or very unlucky enough to get. You get the idea. It's the final one. It's really after funny, this. too, because this is it. We're going over to the memes after this, like, in terms of Mando and Gotham Knights. Just like, yep, goodbye, good storytelling. Right, back, yeah, <laughs> back to just we'll meme you. shows. Back to <laughs> meme shows. Where we can uh, just sit back discussion. and relax and make fun of Helmet Man. and uh, Good old be Helmet simpler. Man. Hey, EFAP, a doctor here. Oh, cool, a fellow doctor. Hello, doctor. Usually, hello, hello doctor. And look, all right, usually penicillin is an intermuscular injection, mostly in the butt, because there's a lot of muscle there. But to be honest, as long as it gets in the uh, system, it should work. But injecting it directly into the wound doesn't really help at all. Hope this helps. Love you guys. Stuff, by the way, keep it up. Um, yeah, you bet. I remember seeing the, oh yes, like first of all, penicillin not intravenously, and I was like, oh, okay, so it's suppo- that's probably why they had to do it that way in the show. But I also read in the article, just like this says, not sure of the viability of putting it directly in the wound. Depends I, on how deep it was, and I, because it looked like it was kind of over the, the ribs a bit, and there's like kind muscle of, in between yeah. the ribs and stuff, so I mean, she stuck it in there, I, I assume the it would work. But... Like, uh, as long as it gets into the system, it should work through muscular injection. My guess would be, it doesn't matter matter where you put it it just gets in the system regardless like putting it in the wound doesn't make a difference that's kind of my reading so she of, has of to this. hit a muscle is the point that seems to be the point okay yeah well. my specialty is plagues okay not <laughs> muscles david is keeping the non-human meat for himself and is also smirking at the girl hannah as she eats her father unknowingly this version of david is legit evil under the mask it is great Wow. Huh. Uh, he, oh yeah, he, he's uh, he's horrible. Bad they both man. are though. I was gonna they're say both, they, they're it's, both. It's just that we we don't get to see what <laughs> David looks like in his group, like operating as it does. You well, know, yeah, and you game. don't see Game David feed anyone their father, so because that's no, that's an interesting no. inference. I didn't think about that at all. But that yeah, would, that would be assumingly true, right? Because they he was cycled in. I, I think there's a line at the beginning of the episode where he says, "Oh, we can't bury him because the ground's too cold and hard. Like we'll have to wait." It's like, uh huh. Yeah. He's, uh, he's a real sinister piece of work. Yeah, and that's hence the looks he's been given by his subordinates, because mm. they have to. he has to have people to help him do all that shit, and so they know. Right. The only other person I know in fiction that did that is Cartman. <laughs> <laughs> With Scott Tenerman, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I call it Mr. and Mrs. Tenerman Chili. Oh my god! <laughs> I made you eat your parents. Nya, 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 nya. On my first watch, I didn't really appreciate how good a- David's actor was, but man, he does an excellent job with his voice and expressions. Well done to him. He was fantastic. I think he uh He was very he, good. He struck quite a quite an impression on that opening the second scene with him and Ellie just chatting when the camera really uh, tightened up on him and you're just looking at her. It was like, uh, this doesn't feel right. <laughs> like you 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 seem <laughs> off, my lad. <laughs> Um, He's but yeah. very good at nailing the bad vibes. And yeah, I, I yeah. felt like he, um, they nailed everything that's important about David with him, the creepy boy. So, David and his cult have resorted to cannibalism because they can't find wild game. But Ellie, who is four miles away, finds a rabbit and deer within five minutes of going on her first hunt. Lol, okay. It's The Last of Us 2 levels of world building. These people do well because we like them. Those people do bad because we don't like them. It's a big community. Lots to feed, and they were running low on their stockpile of canned food. The deer and rabbit would help, but wasn't like the forest was shown teeming with them, so who knows if they'd get lucky again. David did also explain how he had to roam place to place before due to raiders. He probably had to resort to it before, convinced his more trusted guys of the viability, and now that one of his guys died, figured he might as well not waste usable meat. David is shown to have a weird mindset because of the outbreak. Um, that comment addresses the first thought I had when I read the the original one, which was there's a lot more people. There's like need to thirty feed. of them. It's, it's not necessarily yeah. a matter of not finding deer. It's can you find enough meat to feed 
a whole town full of people. And they do mention, yeah. like, they've been going for some time. I, I'm not going to say how long, because I don't actually know. I think it may have been mentioned for potentially how long. But how long does a deer feed, like, 30 people? I would imagine that either the rations, like, what each person gets is minimal, or it doesn't get very far. Meanwhile, um, Ellie and Joel probably could have lasted on one deer for... For a, a little while, a yeah. Of time, yeah. According to the internet, the average Ohio white-tailed deer yields 52.2 pounds of venison. And they do mention they had venison, they had, they have forms of meat and they mix in human with it to beef it up. Well, that's a bad use of that word. Oh, well, I'm pretty <laughs> sure that the guy, if you're referring to the dude who walked in and said it's venison, that, pretty sure he was No, lying. not that guy. I'm talking about the oh, intro oh, where oh, he yeah. says, How much do we have left? Venison. Elk, rabbit. Maybe a week. Two at best. And also, within five minutes of going on a first hunt, we have no idea how long she was out there. That's also true, actually, yeah. But um, the, the, I just, I don't get it. The fact is they are finding game, but they're not, they're not able it's to not hunt enough. enough. And then the whole, like, these people do well because we like them, these people do bad because we don't like them. I don't even know what that means, because you could make characters that I could respect that have resorted to cannibalism. Um, it's possible. It's going to be real tough. But there are stories where that is basically the only thing you can do to stay alive. And it doesn't necessarily involve killing your own team. It's just make, taking advantage of if anyone dies. Depending on how you spread out the servings, a deer will go a long way. But yeah, when you got 30 people... And especially because there was that part where she got this uh, can slid and they said there's only like five left or something. Only five more left. Hmm. When you can't add things to the meat, you're going to have to have more meat to compensate. So, And, you know, it's not that they all went evil. It's that uh, David's the one that's pushing them and he himself has got a hell of a lot more uh, wrong with him beyond just cannibalism. As much as his role was small, Troy Baker killed it. You can see the uneasiness in his eyes and the hesitation he has when dealing with David. He is clearly his own person and he displays the character very well. I felt uh, he, he did an excellent job yeah, of just coming across yeah. as a guy who's got many years of uh, weight on him. A lot of pain on him, basically. He looks really sad. He yeah. looks really sad all the time uh, and it's sold through the performance. Feels cool when voice actors get uh, live action roles and do well with them. Well, yeah, I was just going to say, like, he clearly demonstrated his capacity for emotional control doing the voice in the game. So it doesn't surprise me that he. Well, did voice really and well. performance as well uh, for motion capture. Oh, mocap. Mm -hmm. Right, of course. Yeah. yeah. I found it super bizarre that the rest of the residents just kind of disappear after Ellie breaks free and no one bothers to help David out or even assist. That being said, I still found the episode incredibly enjoyable, but am nervously anticipating episode 9's potential changes. I feel this episode suffers from being a video game adaptation. In the game, Joel has to face a lot of enemies to arrive where Ellie is. Here he just shows up in the middle of this town with no obstacles. The fact that no member of the community is around to notice him and Ellie hugging in the middle of the street was kind of meh. And the fact that no one notices the building is uh, being on fire dot dot dot. Kind of hard to believe. I'm in love with the acting, though. This one's interesting, because we did kind of talk about it. Apparently this town isn't in, like, the, this this building isn't in the center of town, and there is a, I don't know if I can call it a minor blizzard happening, and this all happens pretty fast. And so it's like, so with those variables, you can uh, wipe out at least a few of the onlookers that may turn up, but I am in the They'll camp probably also. probably be inside anyway, trying to keep warm. If you're not doing anything... And you might just be sitting around inside, hanging out. And the building did burn from the inside out, which might take a while. Oh, know? and uh, I don't um, think anyone should have seen Ellie and uh, him hugging. They were on the out, uh, outer end the of the building, side. away from the town. Yeah. I think the more relevant point would be that it seems like a bit of a missed opportunity to not have some sort of reaction from a few residents in the town, because yes. wouldn't it be interesting if some people saw it and turned their back on it and left because they knew that David was there? And they that, just I, didn't. I don't know about that, because the fire is, is a big danger potentially true, to everybody. True, true, but, yeah, Especially uh, if you don't have a lot of food yeah, and yeah, foods in that building. Actually, I guess... More so that, at the very least, getting the reactions of the town could be interesting. I'm trying to think of how I might try and implement it. Certainly getting reactions, people looking out and being like, oh no, that sort of thing, and, and being like, oh shit, what do we do, and panicking. But maybe one or two guys heading in with guns that Joel manages to see ahead, avoid in terms of them seeing him, and then he hits on the back of the head with the pipes style stuff. Maybe, yeah. yeah. I, I, think, I think you could do that. I think that would work. So. I think... The impression I get in terms of the feeling of bizarreness is that there is a David has a pretty definitive end, but like that community, they don't really have an ending. We don't really see what the resolution is for that community, which 
I don't know that we necessarily need to, but it almost seems... Especially because seem, there seems to be innocent people there. Yeah, yeah um, like they people all who seem are, to be, have been victimized um, by David. I think a very few of them know about the eating humans thing. Well, and then there's, um, you know, the people in the community who have been directly victimized by him as well. Yeah, we just don't know. I guess the story's not really about them, but they were in the story a couple times. There is this element that a number of them wanted to protect people from David, but they couldn't muster up enough courage to just shoot him and kill him so i kind of agree i think that is a bit of a weaker part to the episode that's all mm -hmm. i think someone in the chat for your last premiere said that joel killed everyone on his way to the restaurant that happened <laughs> well no game, like i think did, to, but... to excuse the <laughs> oh, oh right right, in right the show yeah. but it, but it would be faithful to game joel because that's what he would do is kill fucking everybody <laughs> i love the idea that, uh... going through each house there's like a little kid playing with toys and he's like die you're part yeah. of the problem kid i guess it's interesting the second part comment highlights the difference of the video game adaptation because we've seen it throughout the season you just have less like violent encounters in the show because justifying beyond a gameplay context like the body count of the last of us the game is going to be real hard in like yeah, a live action it's, it's like a, if you're yeah. making a call of duty video game or something like that like the idea that this one soldier kills hundreds of the enemy with small arms is just like that just doesn't happen really yeah the encounters mm. are a lot smaller and there are less of them and so having Joel or Ellie have encounters like they had during the winter section of like mowing through 50 people respectively. Like, yeah, it's, it just was never going to happen. To address the obvious response to that, wow, so you've made it either we get none or all. And it's like, no, 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 just highlight oh, that. I mean, that would be a very interesting conclusion to draw from what I said. I guarantee but... you someone's saying it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Obviously, a healthy balance would have been neat. And we've talked, I think, last episode about how we would have liked more encounters as more well. More zombies. It would have been nice to spread everything out a bit more. I, I'm honestly on the point of saying, like, I think double the size of the entire show probably would have been better. I could have gone for more episodes. Yeah, me too. One of my favorite moments in the game isn't a cutscene. It's when Henry's about to bail on Joel on the bus and Ellie jumps back down. We stay together and Joel stops dead in his tracks looking at her thinking the same thing I am. Oh shit, she's built different. And it's all animated into the gameplay. Um, it's a shame we didn't mention this in episode five, I think. This doesn't show up in this in the show, but it does in the game. But there is something that shows up in the show that doesn't show up in the game that feels like possibly they change. So as just, just mentioned, and in fact, play the clip, future me. Okay, we gotta get him up. Uh, I'm sorry. We're leaving. What? What's this bullshit? Hey, now! What the fuck, Henry? <laughs> We stick together. There it is. Beautiful. That's the game yeah. version. In the show, there is no moment where Henry and Sam have a chance to, you know, risk their lives to help Joel and Ellie up on a bus and get out of there, and they instead opt to uh, leave them. Instead, they have a moment where Ellie falls in front of uh, the incoming Kansas City people, and uh, Henry runs out, grabs her, and gets her to safety, and Joel sees it. And I always thought, like, oh, that's an interesting, because that, that's kind of similar to what happens in the game, except they've gone the other direction. And I think the point of that is is to inform later when Ellie is free and clear and Joel has her covered, she looks over at Henry and Sam and then she looks up at him and then back at them. And then he makes an expression of like, uh, fine. And I always got the impression that that's Joel saying like, after what Henry and Sam have done, yes, we will try and save them. It seems to me like that's a different beat that they've ran with instead of uh, this one from the game, which, you know, I, I really like this game one as well. The only thing I don't like yeah. in the game at this section is how Henry saves them. If you remember, they jump off a bridge and they're in the water and then I think Joel gets knocked out in yeah. like rapids, essentially. And then we, we just wake up and it's like, yeah, Henry saved both of you. And it's like, how the fuck did Henry save you both? What if yeah. you can't swim? What if he was knocked out at a very big man? Like to, to the idea that he jumped in, grabbed you both and swam you to safety? Very hard to believe, yeah. but um, no, I, I agree. I, I think this it would have been cool to have kept this moment. If the worry was that it takes away from Sam and Henry being sympathetic, I'd be like, you don't have to worry about that. This is a very normal thing that they do in the game, uh, you know, like a normal human reaction. And they do apologize for it later as like a sorry, we panic sort of thing. I do like that bit on the beach that immediately follows that where yeah. like Joel pulls a gun on him. And it's like, you fucker, you left me behind. Hey, you, you know, you would have done the same thing if you were in my position with Ellie. And it's like, oh. Fuck. All right. I guess we'll yeah, you're right. just that, work together. That whole conversation is really good, too. It's, um, yeah. This is what I mean. If you made the whole show longer, we could have had all of these bits and all of the new additions and uh, fleshed out just bits that needed it.
The spores not being in the show really hamstrings a lot of Season 2, Last of Us 2 stuff, which is already super weak. The cure's relevancy is because of the spores, as the crew talked about how rare being bitten and surviving the attack, so the cure wouldn't matter much in the show because the show doesn't have spores. The Last of Us 2 stuff really needs a cure, the cure to be a viable thing. They can't really portray what Joel does as something bad since the cure already has super niche usage in the show, while Ellie's desire to be sacrificed for a cure would be stupid since even surviving an attack from a zombie is rare. All in all, I think the lack of spores really really, really hinders the story of The Last of Us. So I agree with everything you just said, if the ending of that was really hinders the story of The Last of Us 2. I, yes. This doesn't hinder mm -hmm. the story of The Last of Us at all. That's actually why I think season two is going to suffer, because it looks like they're going to make similar mistakes. If uh, this world does not really get changed by a cure, we've gone over this. Yeah, I, and I, that's assuming in the games, the spores being an element, which is more contagious than physically having to be bit by it. Yeah. It, well, well, I it's think the probably main thing what, uh, we talked about getting cancelled out was the spores. I think we were like, yeah, it'll make it so you can walk through spores. Yeah, That's cool. None of them in the show. Getting infected. Infected is it's not going to help you. The main concern with infected is getting killed, not getting infected. Whereas just encountering spores, you breathe in, it's like, well, that's it for you. Whereas in this, the only option is infection, basically through light contact with infected. But I mean, regardless, the same issue still persists in terms of the logistics of disseminating a cure and then whether or not the fireflies would even do it. And then, of course, just all of the ways that the fireflies treat Joel badly uh, when he gets there. Joel must have unlocked the passive skill that increases his strength when in critical health. It's called adrenaline. With that injury, he would have been more likely to be in shock. So, why don't we have a chat about Joel's health? Is it viable, all the stuff that he does with the wound he has? Yeah, I mean, what does he do that the wound would prevent <clears throat> him from being able to do? The most physical thing he does is stab a guy from behind and basically just hold on, hold the knife there. And that is clearly something that he, you know, labors through doing. Of course, if he was to shoot people, that wouldn't have mattered, but we don't see him shooting people. We don't see how he takes out the second guy. The third guy he sneaks up on and hits with the butt of a rifle. I, I mean, think the, from probably that, the most to conclude that he's been ambushing them. Which is yeah. something I, I mean, really like that they did. I, actually, yep. I guess the most labor-intensive thing that he does is drag those two guys to uh, tie him up. Yeah, Probably in that off screen. I don't know how this these commenters feel, but I can't imagine they're saying this doesn't apply to Game Joel as well. I'm, I, I, I would hope so because Game Joel, I mean, the injury that he's the rebar threw him is really bad. And as if I remember correctly, Joel was in a more or less the same state, like during the winter section in the game, as he was in the show of being like lying there, barely. Able oh yeah, to that's that's the day he wakes up, right? So. Yeah, I think so. So, like, if anything, I appreciate the show going to greater lengths to show that he's struggling. As to whether or not I can fully. Believe leave every action he takes it's like i think they've done a lot to show how limited he is compared to normal so i appreciate that as whether or not i know it to be possible what he's doing it's like i guess I, I i can't know for sure i don't know i appreciate the details they added to make it seem like it was difficult like when he executes that first one in the torture scene he like almost lays on him like he puts the knife in and he's like laying on him and the chair struggling to get back up which I, mm -hmm. I like that as well. Like, it's like, yeah, this is tough stuff. Game Joel, of course, <laughs> he, um, he uh, gets around that town. He kills a lot of people. Think, yeah. Right? yeah. Yeah. And, you know, I, I, I'm mostly okay with both of them. Game. In her moment of rage, fear, and complete disillusionment, Joel rushes in to pull Ellie back to remind her there is a really a safe place, stopping her outburst of emotion and offering her comfort. Show. Nobody comes to her. She wanders outside. Joel sneaks up on her, triggering a fight response out of sheer panic, then comforts her. AKA, why the game is better than a show by a mile. It's a bit weird in the show how Joel just wordlessly grabs Ellie from behind when he has an opportunity to call to her from a distance, compared to the game where he grabs her to stop her from further mutilating David's body, and also says, Ellie, stop, it's me, at the same time. My head cannon tells me that's because Joel is a bit woozy in the head from his wound. That's not thinking uh, clearly. He seemed coherent enough when he was interrogating the two guys, though. I agree, but maybe there's an argument for that Joel wouldn't want to call out to her in case it brings more attention to them. Then again, when he grabs her, I think Ellie yells, let go of me, so... I don't think that's a great defense. Uh, I would have had Joel try a few more times to get her attention more discreetly before having to grab her. Ellie's just gone through a traumatic event, which is why she takes a bit to realize that is Joel. Yes, he can control his own volume. He cannot control hers. The argument still stands. Could have whispered it. Joel likely saw her leave the burning building, so my guess is he figured she might have a firearm and attack anybody who got close. 
Ellie has no reason to believe Joel is up and moving, and she might not recognize his voice in her hysteria, so it's better to grab her than risk getting shot. Yeah, he should have called out, Hey, Ellie, you're the last of us! So it would have made the episode more epic. Ain't this interesting, though? This, the, yeah, the, the, this whole like, back and forth? like they're like talking about things. Yeah, I like it. Like this, this, is, this is what I asked for, yeah. guys, so thank you. <laughs> like, yeah, look at you guys talking I, about it. I think this is very interesting, and um, I uh, I was when I saw the first comment, I was like, "Ooh, actually, hmm, yeah, maybe that is kind of dumb." And then I saw the response, I was like, "Ooh, okay," because this is the kind of thing. It's like you're Joel, you see the body, you maybe even catch her leaving through the door, like you when you're when you've entered the building, you see her leaving, you you walk forward, you see David's body, all the blood, and then you're like, "Oh fuck," uh, you know, what do you do in that moment? What is the smart thing? And it's like go like call out to her, like Ellie, Ellie, I'm here, Ellie, or do you wait until you're close? To her so that you can stop her from saying or doing anything that could risk you guys. Just I was like, I think I think I can see Joel deciding I should get right up to her and grab her before uh, letting her know it's me. I, I can understand that choice. Yeah, I, I wondered about that beat too. But that the point that guy made about Ellie possibly having a gun on her is, a, I think that's a good point. Well, Something know, like, I'm thinking about is uh, simply a matter of timing, though. In the game, he gets there while that's happening. In the show, he gets there a little bit later, right? Like, is yeah. So, and in which case, what would be the criticism that they chose a less potent way of doing it? Well, so this is the big problem we come with with dramatic payoffs, right? It seems that it's built into all of this that it's just better to have him grab her during the killing, but that means you don't get the payoff of her slowing down, stopping, and staring at the body. That's right, they're different payoffs. As for which one's better or worse, it's a little bit complicated. I've always considered when you get to that level, I don't know that I can pick one. I think they're both really good. I love yeah, the fact that I he catches her during, but I also love the fact that she has to sit there dealing with that. Yeah, mm -hmm. he could have just come around the corner, or we don't know exactly where he came from, or how much time he had to see her. I think it's probably reasonable to say he should have at least, you know, said quietly, called out her name. Having Ellie be on her own for a little bit means that she has to grapple with, uh what's going through her head in that moment in a sense it almost it might be delivering her a little bit more uh in exchange for losing a bit for joel maybe but as for which one's better or worse i don't, I don't know i think they're both great like i i don't take much issue with either and uh, well, i suppose saying though, that if i was shows it's worse by a mile is a bit perplexing yeah that's that's quite a stretch you're not i don't think you're being fair or you haven't recognized the good payoff that the show did give and of course there's alternate ways to have done it in the show that they you know of course could have done but didn't i mean there's nothing that would stop them from having you know like a close up of Ellie's face as she leaves the burning building and then we just hear Ellie being said off screen in Joel's voice and then we see we focus on just her expression as she hears Joel saying Ellie's name like there's there's tons of stuff you could have done but I mean you can only do one of them so what I want to talk about quick before we start up is just what is to be so scared of? And it is pretty much that they make Joel a definitive bad guy in his choice to save Ellie. Now, it probably should be said, you know, the first response I think a lot of people would ask Evap is like, wait, so you're saying you're not allowed to tell that story? It's like, um, no, you can, I think. And we should be able to judge it for its own thing. And what I mean by that, uh, we brought it up before, but Joel, basically everything is set and fine. She, you know, Ellie knows about it and she agrees the cure is very viable. And they explain to him in great detail how they're going to give it out and how important this is and how many lives will be saved. And the, let's make it the most extreme. Ellie may be crippled by it, like mentally, but she'll survive the surgery. You know, like imagine they even said that. And then they were like, and you can hang out with her. You can let her know it's safe and stuff. And you could be in the hospital. And then he's like, no, fuck you and shoots everyone in the head and takes it that would be like the most extreme vision of this and we'd be like wow and then you know he he admits like it's only because i just want you to be perfectly healthy and i hate the world man so you know if they did that it's like so does that ruin the show then and i think i would probably make the argument that i don't think that would be the joel that we've seen built up in the show i i think that would be a little too out of character yep I'm inclined to agree. Right. And so, what's a more reasonable way it could go in a direction we don't want? It's like, well, I think her being conscious is something they could do. I think the Fireflies being reasonable and giving him what he earned by doing this mission and asking him to just, you know, be chill, that, that could be something they do. I'm highlighting these as, uh, in comparison with the game where they don't do these things. Yeah. And then, of course, uh, they say, yes, she is going to die from this. And I'm, I'm sorry, Joel. Like, you know, you're just going to have to understand that. And then he's like, uh-huh. And then shoots them all. I'd be like, oh. And I still think I might argue that's out of character. What I'm hoping for is uh, that a lot of it is maintained, honestly. I think keeping the game, because I am familiar with the game's ending, and I think keeping that vibe is the wise way to go. The concern is now that we're post The Last of Us 2 being out, 
We don't want, quote unquote, retroactively, obviously this is a different continuity. We don't want them to poorly set up The Last of Us 2, essentially. Well, so this is so interesting to think about because a lot of people are like, well, he, Neil's going to want to make The Last of Us 2 more coherent. Therefore, the ending of The Last of Us 1 is going to be fucked with. This is assuming that Neil Druckmann himself believes that The Last of Us 1 is incongruent with The Last of Us 2. And he might not. He may not. And we can did all... anybody tell him? <laughs> yeah, we can all we can all believe that uh, he believes. Yeah, it's incongruent, but whatever. I will never I will never admit to that. Or it could literally be that he's like, "You're all nuts. It works." In which case, if this just plays out largely in the same way as the game, we may end up with The Last of Us Season 1 being a really nice package, yep. regardless of what comes in the second season. We'll be able to go beyond saying there's a couple of episodes that are good. We can say, no, Season 1 the is good. The whole season is good, and that it can remain that way, which would be nice. And it's kind of, we've seen some seeds throughout the season being planted, I think, for what they want to do in Season 2, but it doesn't seem like there's been anything very substantial so far in this season that will directly tie into this finale. I, I, I'm not sure what I would latch onto for that, you know? It seems like at this point, the expectation and the want is for it to be as much like the game as uh, as possible. Yes. I feel like everything else in the season, uh, I don't I don't feel Joel has been characterized differently enough to justify some kind of crazy ending. I don't I don't feel that no, at all. I, I agree. So in, in fact, I think it would just feel weird because uh, I think they are, whether you like it or not, I do think that they're doing a lot of work to make their relationship really good and to portray Joel as a really good guy in terms of, you know, how he sees Ellie. Especially, you know, this this is the, the last episode, you know, was the one, of course, that doesn't sound stupid to say, but the last episode was the last one we watched before this one. But this is the, you know, finale. So the last chance they had to have an episode of their relationship ended very squarely in the these two are super together yeah. uh, camp. So to turn around from that and then kind of make him villainous or portray him in the wrong would be an extremely strange creative decision to make. What is particularly interesting, though, is that it would be safe to say that TV show Joel is a bit softer than game Joel. Yeah, his default state, I think, is more... It, it's not... They can both go punish or kill mode. Yes. But I think just in, in their normal dealings, yeah, he's a bit he's Hence, a bit softer. they're going to have to, I think, irrelevant of the game, have to justify Joel killing people. They need to have something happen that prompts him to do it. Mm -hmm. So let's, let's and I hope think they do. The longer the season has gone on, I think the more that I'm coming to believe that the finale is going to be more like the game than at the beginning. I think so too. I also believe so. I'm actually kind of hoping here that there's not much change at all. <laughs> like, but yeah, I want them to. I really, I'd like for this episode to be really good. I want, I want, I want a nice, complete, good season of television here. Oh, you guys ready? Yes. Yep. Forty-three minute episode, everybody. <laughs> all righty. Last one. Mm -hmm. Oh, we got a All cold right. open we back, did. hey. Yeah, we did. All righty. And it's likely for the very reason John highlighted in episode three or four that uh, it's because it's going to be a time Ashley thing. Ashley Johnson. Yep, that's the voice of Ellie. OG Ellie, yes. And uh, yeah, this is obviously so far back in time that it's suitable to do a cold open for this. This is the thing. I knew she was going to be pregnant because I saw a, a promotional picture for it. And so I knew she was going to be this. So is the idea here, because I don't think we've talked about it, but we can now, that Ellie will be immune because her mother would have been bitten while she was pregnant? I don't know. I know that there was a comic that uh, was released alongside the original game that I think dealt with Ellie's mom, but I haven't read it. That's interesting. It's an interesting idea, right? That's, You'd be like, oh. Because how many pregnant chicks are going to get bit by yeah, zombies, that's... not killed, and deliver their baby healthily? It's, it's also, an idea. I noticed a, uh, a little firefly uh, thing painted on the water tower. Mm. So I'm guessing this is a firefly safe house. Because you could say, it's kind of like Blade, right? Isn't the reason he's a half vampire because his mum was bitten while he was in a womb? I think that's yeah, the story. Yeah, I think right that's now. right. Sad, because uh, I don't think they've ever tried to justify why she's immune in the games, have they? Oh, I think you said we there was a- We never saw it in the game. My Vasa is broken. You need to find yourself She's a weapon. A chair. Push out that baby! I don't know, is that something you want to do right now? <laughs> is it I, don't think it's up, I don't know if it, it might not be up to her. Oh, it's the Switchblade. That's kind of neat. I don't know if it's the same Switchblade, but I assume it is. Man, this is a real fun situation to be in, huh? Can my day get any worse? And then it starts raining. Jesus.
The stress, she didn't even know. Yeah. This sort of happened. And there's the bite. Yeah, cutting it that close, I think, is the way you try and justify how the baby didn't turn into a, uh... You fucking told me. Maybe breast milk after getting bit could be a part of it as well. I don't think the character should do that though. Like they should know. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. That's true. What a uh, what a set of emotions to clash together at the same time though. Um, oh look, yeah, well, maybe. Also, there's a ticking clock. I'm I'm dead like in a day. Well, and what a performance! This is the best She's got life. like three minutes to be in the show, and she and has she to do that. She was excellent. Yeah. Because, you know, we know her well from Avengers 2012, of course. Captain America saved my life. Wherever any of them are, I would just... I would want to say thank you. I think... I, it's just funny, that's the only other thing I can reference. Like, uh, I think that she was uh, Ben Ten's cousin in... Is that? The yeah. Ben Ten. <laughs> it's, just, it's funny, outside of Ellie's voice acting, this is this is probably the most impressive thing I've seen her do. It's just like, good for you. Mm -hmm. And I'm I think just, you know, the meta back. element of Ellie's voice actor giving birth to yep. the character Ellie in the show. That's pretty is, symbolic, yeah. yeah. Well, it's just I saw, nice that they brought voice actors back. I saw someone say, like, how fucking insulting and detrimental to the whole IP that they had Ellie kill the voice actor for, for Joel. Like, that's so fucked up. In the previous episode, it's like, oh, come on, he's playing the character. He oh, did it really well. Oh, he's that guy. guy. What a weird thing to read into it. I know. <laughs> Druckmann was behind the camera going, he, 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 he. like, <laughs> calm down. Did they say this for Tommy's voice actor? Probably, but well, if, when he got if you're gonna... Off by the blinder, <laughs> we'll see, so. our reaction, I was just like, hey! <laughs> like, I never thought that was Brian his reaction, too. and Neil Druckmann. Oh, written by both of them, was it? Yes. Well, okay. Yeah, I was gonna say, if you have a bad reaction to those things, surely you'd have a good reaction to the symbolism of that oh, Marlene! One. Come on, Marlene! He's back. He's going to be in a lot of this episode, I'd imagine. Well, we haven't seen her since episode two. Mm -hmm. oh, the one. Or was it just oh, one? Just yeah, one. just one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's right. <gasps> the infected broke through a gosh darn window. They're so uncivilized. They never use doors. Point that at uh, Marlene well, with your finger on the trigger, okay? I like how gun discipline oh, is just... Oh, she's got a... Constant got a K-bar. Is that like a cereal bar? Uh, Yeah, crumbs everywhere. <laughs> Do not eat in bed. Do not only eat K-Bars, guys. Oof. Do only eat outside. So I guess we're still in the past. They're looking for the mother, right? Well, yeah, because this is going to be the how does Ellie get to the Fireflies of Marlene. Because she's going to be close to turning at this point. Oh, damn. She was about to kill herself. Oh, God. It's not your fault. We would delay getting out of the zone. I know. She's hungry. I didn't want to nurse her. Oh, there you go. Smart idea. I cut it before I was bit. That would be a lie. Four. Take her with you. And plus, Boston. I mean, like if the baby turns, like That's hopefully it won't kill up. anybody. So <laughs> you should be you should be okay. You ever see Zack Snyder's Daughter of the Dead, Rex? No. <laughs> There's a I'd... zombie baby in that film. Her name's Ellie. I can't. How long have we known each other? You better fucking take this baby. I was bitch. gonna say you better fucking do it. Will you pick her up right now? And then you kill me. I wonder well, if being bit on the thigh would speed up the process because of how big the blood vessels are in your thigh. Well, we saw the diagram. Basically, the closer to the head, the quicker the infection. No, closer to the head? Please. I believe closer to the head, the quicker the infection, yes. Yeah, okay. that's what the page said. Because, yeah, none of this, none of this is in the game, but, uh, no. I think it's a but worthy addition. Marlene did say, Marlene did say that she knew Ellie's mom, or that she, she knew her since she was a baby. Well, and this is just another example of where the TV show can do some extra stuff. Well, just giving, this is just all things to help humanize Marlene. Also, yeah, Ashley Johnson for, what, five minutes? Excellent. Yep. Yeah, very, very good job. And also, Marlene, very good too. Just what a traumatic birth into this fucking world, eh? Yeah. Welcome. That was really cool.
we are running out of time though yeah you gotta get a move on I episode hope... we're already yeah down. that's the thing that was that was legit short. good 30 minutes remain short episode. yeah like that, that was... is that's not a lot of time yeah like that was really good don't get me wrong but this, we have this things portion to do. of the game this portion of the game is a fair deal longer than 30 minutes yeah um ellie do you hear me ellie ellie did you hear me? No. What? Beefaroni, Chef Boyardee. Oh, cool. No. What? Look. Hospital. This is where we get off. Have you ever played this? Boggle? It's a word game. Mm -mm. If you want to beat me at something, it would be this. Feel that breeze, huh? I tell you, on a day like this, I just sit on my porch, pick away my sex drink. Getting close. Mm -hmm. Hospital that way may be the one we're looking for. Got it. Boggle! Is that Boggle? <laughs> played this? Yes. Boggle? What's wrong, Ellie? What's on your mind? I wonder. Right. You seem uncharacteristically not sarcastic. Joel is, uh, well, it is characteristic based on all of the development, but very, uh, warm and concerned. Well, I, I very much like this, and doing all the stuff before is going to help accentuate what's happening here. She's thinking, obviously, about the end of the trip and what's just happened. He, on the other hand, is trying right. to make her feel better. Yep. Good flip. He trusts her, gives her the gun now. Doesn't even have to think about it. I can, you know, give Ellie a gun. He had a guitar in that RV. It's all smashed up, but got me thinking. Yeah, once we're done with this whole thing, I'm gonna teach you how to play guitar. Yeah, I reckon you'd really like that. I was thinking maybe I could teach you. I bet you'd be great at it. Mm -hmm. You wanna learn how to play guitar? What do you say, huh? Ellie, I'm talking to you. Huh? Oh, yeah, sure, that sounds great. Ellie? Hmm? Oh, yeah, that'd be great. Joel's so much more loquacious compared to how he was at the beginning. Oh, he's so no, open right. now, yeah. I mean, this girl saved his life, so... Yeah. They've just been together many months now, you know. I just think that's one of the bigger things that happened that changed That'd stuff. Obviously, she'd saved it before, but the effort she took to save it the second time was pretty insane. Yep. Yep. It's like, yeah, it's, it's that sh it's that life debt shit where you're just like, yeah, I trust you completely. Like, Jar Jar Binks owes <clears throat> um, Qui-Gon Jinn a life debt. Is it melancholic, the fact that any reference to, like, his guitar or things that'll happen after the events of this episode make me sad? Yeah, well, it does. It makes me sad, too, because the, I'm worrying. The very because end of The Last of Us is Ellie, having lost two of her fingers, can't even play guitar anymore. God, I hate that ending. Why? Because she actually gave up on the, you know, end of the cycle of violence and her reward was she still lost everything. We'll talk about that some other day. <laughs> I was thinking we blast our way through that rubble. I found some dynamite in that RV back there. Really? No, so we're gonna cut through that building. Where had you going, didn't I? It is such an interesting shift in the dynamic. Yeah. yeah. Much and it also quieter. speaks a lot that I don't like it that Ellie's sad. Yep. You know? I was like, I don't like because seeing by this like point, this. I just would be surprised if you weren't endeared to her, regardless of, you know, whether you'd play the game or She's been through so much. She's a, she's a trooper. Yep. That fucking Maybe stock sound, do you hear that? <laughs> uh, I think you're right, yeah. I think That's so. one of the most common openings of a thing sound ever. It's usually for doors, I think. If I get you up there, you can drop that ladder down. Maybe we go through that way. Hey, that's, that a, that's a fun little reference. Look, video games. Everything all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, you just kind of seem extra quiet today. Okay? Yeah, fine. Just you kind of seem extra quiet today, so... Oh, sorry. No, it's not... It's fine. I'm sorry. No, it's fine. Do you hear what I... Yeah, boost. Got it. Ellie. What? The ladder. Come on. Right. You got it?
꺼내줘. 우와. Damn it, Ellie! 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 You gotta see this! Ellie! Up here! You gotta see this! What is it? Oh yeah, another thing we got to mention. I'm, I'm very much hoping for the giraffe payoff, but the curiosity will be if they do CG or not. I think they can they'll spring for some real giraffes. I don't know. I don't know if it's a matter of like what you can pay for versus what you're allowed to use in certain yeah. places. Yeah, you it think could, there's it could a, be a combination like a of both giraffe around here? that may prevent like, it. Mm -hmm. The thing is, I if, if you ask me to bet on it, I'd say it's going to be CG. It's going to be CG. Probably. Yeah. It's just easier to control. It's just yeah. It's it's kind of sad. I mean, <laughs> think about all the um. You know, all the giraffes out there that, you know, want to make it big. Yeah, she's seen the giraffe, isn't it? Did you see the shadows on the tarps like a velociraptor? <laughs> Good reference. I don't know why you'd make it. Uh, I don't know. Damn, how tall are these fucking giraffes? <laughs> <laughs> she saw like this enormous head. Come like on. the neck is many stories tall. Unless yep, the there it she, is. she heard it yep. or something. This is probably I'm gonna quite well utilized yeah. considering her current state of mind as well. Oh, that giraffe looks really good. I imagine that this giraffe was born um, after, you know, the apocalypse, so... This is a free-range giraffe. No. That's a very good-looking giraffe. That's a very good-looking giraffe. It would be from the zoo, right? I, th I assume that's what this... I think that's where they're yeah, from in the game, yeah. Well, yeah, but this one, I mean, it's 20 years. This one is, uh... Well, how long does giraffes live? Is, uh... Well, it's kind of the nature of the whole thing, right? That nature is, uh... It's kind of the nature of nature. <laughs> nature is... Yeah, exactly. That nature how long is, those like, tongues are? Oh, mm, give me that leaf. Look at that, look at that giraffe. Yay, she's happier. The giraffe doesn't want to eat you and stuff. It just wants to be chill. Is that like a is that a, a real giraffe? That looks really good. I wonder if we're gonna see a zebra that's real cut up. <laughs> like, don't, just, just don't do that's, it. Joe. That's the cl that's the closest thing to a sorry that we're ever gonna get is a dead zebra, <laughs> like nailed to the wall. <laughs> like, like, yeah, like on a cross. <laughs> Something. Everything you were hoping for? Is it everything you hoped for? It's got its ups and downs. It's got its ups and downs. But can't deny that view. You can't deny the view though. This rooftop looks very similar yeah. to the game. Yeah, this whole environment, yeah, it's Can't really similar. Super detailed. Call back! Is that everything you hoped for? Jury's still out. So is that everything you hoped for? Jury's still out. But man, you can't deny that view. But man, you can't deny that view. <laughs> we did it! No, here's the convoy. I don't know exactly where this hospital is. Yeah, we'll find it. Maybe there's nothing bad out there, but so far there's always been something bad out there. We're still here, though. 
We don't have to do this. You know that, right? We don't have to do this. I just, I want you to know that. What do you mean? What else are we supposed to do? <sighs> What's the other option? Go back to Tommy's. We forget about the whole damn thing. After all we've been through. Be done with this whole damn thing. After all we've been through. Everything I've done. It can't be for nothing. Everything that I've done. It can't be for nothing. I know you mean well. I know you want to protect me. You have. And when we're done, we'll go wherever you want. Tommy's, Sheep Ranch, the moon. I know you mean well, but there's no halfway with this. Once we're done, we'll go wherever you want. I'll follow you anywhere you go. Okay. Well, I ain't leaving without you. So let's go wrap this up. We finished what we started. We don't have to do this. Yeah, that's that's just him being like, just, you know, can we can we not do it? That. This is the big thing about the story, right? It's the discovery that why are we alive? It's like it can't be to have that. moments like this with each other. It's not about like he's so much less focused now on like some grand mission. He just I wants to hang out with you. Tommy's sheep ranch. The moon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the moon. Dream of sheep ranches on the moon. Oh, well. You ain't cargo no more. All right, we're nearly halfway. Firefly's got to get in here. Yep. Unless the, I mean, do you think the structure is going to be cliffhangers with what he's going to do in our season two? No, no, no way. No, <laughs> no, the ending is definitely going to take us right back to where it ends in the game. Yeah, there's... God, could you imagine? That would... I think that would piss people off. Definitely looks extremely good. Post-apocalypse vibe is like... They I was nailed about it. To say, set the set design is incredible. The set design, it's, yeah. Yeah, this looks in, amazing. You know, there's just weeds and plants growing up growing up everywhere. We got a bit of rubble. Things are And torn. the visual effects of the backgrounds are super well integrated. Yes, they look very good. I don't imagine, like, the kind of effort oh. it takes to do that, but it looks great. Oh, I, mean. I think this, we only got, this show like, was uh, filmed over the course, of a, of, the course of a year. I think it was filmed over the course of a year. Had a long production the timeline. They put these places up all around. The first few days after the outbreak, emergency medical camps. So this place takes me back. How so? It was right after everything went down. I ended up in a triage just like this. They had me in one just like this. With Sarah? No, she was gone already. Oh. Everywhere you looked, you just saw families torn apart. Whole damn world seemed to have turned upside down in a blank. It's for this. Ah, the guy who shot and missed. I figured that would have happened later. No. Nope. Is that after you lost Sarah? Yes, it was. Well, I gotta hand it to the army people. They were way better at stitching you up than I was. I was the guy who shot and missed. I can't imagine losing someone you love like that. Losing everything that you know. I'm sorry, Joel. Sarah died. And I couldn't see the point anymore. And I wasn't scared either. I was ready. That's okay, Ellie. I went to pull the trigger. I, I flinched. Still don't know why. Hey, Joel, I got something for you. Here. Maria showed this to me, and I, uh, I stole it. Anyway, the reason I'm telling you all this is... I know why you're telling me all this. Yeah, I reckon you do. I hope you don't mind. So time heals all wounds, I guess. 
was in town that did it. you try. I guess you can't escape your past. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I'm glad that that didn't work out. Me too. In the Sarah? game, this is where Ellie gives well, Joel the photo of Sarah that she oh. found. I wonder if they'll do that. So what was wrong with you? Also, she can talk about she Sarah is. and it doesn't bug him. Uh, that is, yeah. I think, a similar sort of realization in the game where it's like, damn, they yep. really have come far yep. then. Look, at Pedro right there. Uh, Look at him. It. Dude, everything's ready for the payoff now. Yeah. We, we could have had two seasons of a Mandalorian like yeah. this. Imagine. Imagine uh, his fucking yeah. cargo in the game was a person this old and this aware. Yeah, someone he could fucking talk to and that could talk to him. Not some stupid green baby. <laughs> Boggle. Do you know what I'm in the mood for? What? Shitty puns. People are making apocalypse jokes like there's no tomorrow. Too soon? No, it's topical. <laughs> it's topical. Oh, I love this one. <laughs> <laughs> Moon rocks taste better than earth rocks. Why? Meteor. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, that's fuck a, you. That, that was actually good. Fuck you. That was actually all right, good. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Grape. Say to the purple grape. Breathe, you idiot. You look appealing. <laughs> Come on, that's not bad. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. Oh fuck. Five. Five out of ten. Five. I appreciate that he uh he covered her. He yeah. They're the fireflies. Yes, they are, and we didn't do the the water, yep, the are, swimming payoff. They no are bus. being uh they're being dicks. Oh, whether or not she's conscious. Oh, I'm very scared right now. These are going to be a tense few minutes, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, this is it. This is it. The conversation <laughs> with oh, Marlene boy. is everything. Keep an oh, eye on them subtitles, everybody, because I'm probably yep. going to be talking a lot about every single thing they say. Uh, yeah. Hi. Welcome to the fireflies. Easy. You got hit pretty hard. Welcome to the fireflies. Sorry about that. They didn't know who you were. Patrol didn't know who you were. And Ellie? She's all right. They brought her back. <sighs> Where's Ellie? She wasn't hurt. Not even a scratch. She's mostly worried about you. You came all this way. How'd you do it? It was her. How'd you do it? It was all her. <clears throat> she fought like hell to get here. She fought like hell to get here. She would have been dead on day one. Maybe it was meant to be. You are the one person I never wanted to be in debt to. But I owe you. I pretty much lost everything. And then you show up and somehow we find you just in time to save her. Maybe it was meant to be. We all owe you. Just take me to her. I can't. She's being prepped for surgery. Take me to her. You don't have to worry about her anymore. We'll take care. I worry. Let me see her, please. What surgery? You can't. She's being prepped for surgery. The hell do you mean, surgery? Our doctor, he thinks that the cordyceps in Ellie has grown with her since birth. Why is she in surgery? Doctors tell me the cordyceps, the growth inside her, has somehow mutated. It's why she's immune. It produces a kind of chemical messenger. It makes normal cordyceps think that she's cordyceps. It's why she's immune. Once they remove it, they'll be able to reverse engineer a vaccine. A vaccine. He's going to remove it from her, multiply the cells in a lab, and then we can give it to everyone. But it grows all over the brain. It does. He thinks it could be a cure, Joel. A cure. Find someone else. There is no one else. Cordyceps grows inside the brain. It does. Listen, you were gonna show me where. <clears throat> Stop. Find someone else. There is no one else. She's being prepped for. Uh oh. Mm. 
He thinks it could be a cure, Joel. It could be. Yeah, could be. Mm. We're okay so far. Cordyceps grows inside the brain. It does. Is she awake? Is she awake? Is she awake? We didn't tell her. We didn't cause her any fear. There no. won't be any pain. Find someone else. There is no one else. We didn't tell her. We didn't cause her any fear. There no. won't be any pain. They didn't tell her. her. You take me to her. They didn't uh, tell her. Well, they didn't tell her. She doesn't know. Yes! <laughs> what? And it's exactly... Yep. I get it. But whatever it is you think you're going through right now is nothing to what I have been through. Any pain. No, you take me to her. You take me to her right now! Oh! Oh! I knew her since she was born. I promised your mother I would look after her. Then why are you letting this happen? Please, you don't understand. I was there when she was born, Joel. Because this isn't about me, or even her. There is no other choice here. I promised her mother that I would save her child. I promised. <sighs> so I do understand. I'm the only one who understands. Yeah, you keep telling yourself that bullshit. I'm sorry. I have no other choice. I do. Please, you don't understand. I do. Was that intro? I was there when she was born, Joel. I have no other choice. I do. It's a choice. Uh oh. March him out of here. He tries anything, shoot him. Walk him out to the highway, leave him there with his pack. Give him this. Don't waste this gift, Joel. He tries anything, shoot him. Walk him out to the highway, leave him there with his pack. Give him this. If he tries anything, shoot him. Oh, deal's been well done. It's a little bit different, but they're not giving him the weapons. Like, they're not giving him what they agreed to. Yeah, it's still, it's everything's here. The only thing that's I different. I think it was just the pack. Just the pack, that's it. The only thing that's different, really, is that they've made the potential for the cure clearer medically. Yes. But otherwise, it's more or less... I mean, if the game didn't exist, I would expect him to now do the thing he does in the game. And I'm on his team, by the way. I am, yeah. They didn't tell Ellie. This is super they didn't, they didn't tell Ellie. They, didn't tell they Ellie. fucked him over completely, and they clearly don't give a shit. And then we can go into all the political reasons for why this is fucked up. Whatever she agreed to, she didn't understand what she was agreeing to. No, and then they've probably put her under... Yep. Go fuck them. And, like, they're the Fireflies. They are, they are, we've been told throughout this season they're assholes in terms of what they do to gain. So what do you think they're going to use this for? I like this, you know, the this face. You you know? Keep walking. I said keep walking. I said keep walking. Where was the operating room? Where is she? Fuck you. I ain't got time for this. Where? Where? Top floor, the far end. I don't have time for this. I like that this is happening at the bottom of a dark stairwell. It's like he's descending in it into yeah. what he knows he has to become to do this. Ammo. Yep. Take a couple mags. They both use the same mags, so it's not a problem. This is, I think this is a scene that a lot of people have wanted for a while. This is gonna be Punisher Joel, basically. I like him shooting through the window. Because glass isn't bulletproof. I like these editing choices, too. Yep. Yep. Music is pretty foreboding as well. Yeah, yeah it is. This to me it's just that, seems like, like a, you've brought this upon yourselves. You're gonna execute him anyway. Yep. This is exactly what we've been talking about throughout the entire season. It's been properly given that if you fuck with him too much, he doesn't have any limits. Oh, this is, yeah, this is, uh, this is him real scary. It's just coming between a man and his daughter, that's what this story's about. Yeah. 
I love that this is kind of a montage of just like mayhem. Well, yeah, and, and like I said, the music choice, the tone here is like, did this have to happen? It's like, there's so many reasons how it didn't, but it did. Yeah, we're gonna have we to have are. our showdown at the end. Yeah. Oh, this that is this matters a lot. Yeah. This doctor. <laughs> yep. Is there a little girl in this room who's like, Daddy, no, are we gonna do it? Should if do there's it. a zebra in this room, that'll just... That'll just be, be it. <laughs> the whole way. Good job, Pedro, in this whole season. Good yeah. job. Yep. He's That's been exactly. fantastic. Unhook her. Sweet Jesus. Doctor? What are you doing in here? I won't let you take her. This is our future. Think of all the lives we'll save. How did you get in here? I said unhook her. I won't let you take her. No! Hey, you fucking animal! Jerry, shut the hell up. Unhook her. There you go. Her. Yep. You picked up a scalpel, my good man. Yep. He does spare the rest. Cover oh, well, I guess, is it up to you in the game whether or not you spare the these game, doctors? It's, uh, you don't have to, it's just the doctor. Turn well, around. I presume they're all doctors, but it's just the guy. That shot is important for next season. Yeah. Yep. Don't have to deal with that shit now, though. <laughs> That's not... No, and it seems like they're not going to. No. Nope. Which, uh... Where is Marlene? I bet I think I know what's going to happen. Have you ever seen it before? No. Can't keep her safe forever. You can't save her. Even if you get her out of here, then what? No matter how hard you try, no matter how many people you kill, she's going to grow up, Joel. How long before she's torn to pieces by a pack of clickers? That is, if she hasn't been raped and murdered first. How long till she's torn apart by infected or murdered by raiders? Because she lives in a broken world that you could have saved. It ain't for you to decide. It's what she'd want. Maybe. But it isn't for you to decide. Or you. And you know it. So what would she decide, huh? Because I think she'd want to do what's right. And you know it. Look. You can still do the right thing here. Even after what you've done, we can still find a way. She won't feel anything. Editing is straight out of the game. Yeah, straight out of the game. Yep. One to one. What? It's alright. You're with me. Take it slow. Uh, what the hell am I wearing? Just take it easy. The drugs are still wearing off. The drugs are still wearing off. I was with the fireflies and then what drugs? What happened? They were running some tests on you. And some others. We found the fireflies. Turns out there's a whole lot more like you. People that are immune. Dozens of them. Turns out there's a whole lot more like you, Ellie. People that are immune. There's dozens, actually. 
The doctors, they couldn't make any of it work. Ain't time a damn bit of good, neither. They've actually... They've actually... They've stopped looking for a cure. They've stopped looking for a cure. I'm taking this home. Where are my clothes? Raiders attacked the hospital. I barely got you out of there. We'll find you some new ones on the way. I'm sorry. Are people hurt? Yes. Taking us home. Wait. Let me go. No, wait, 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 wait. Just come after her. Something they did in the game, and I think they're doing here, is that Ellie is clearly not stupid enough to not think to something's going this, on yeah. here. There's something's up. You just come after her. That flaming was yep. identical to the game. Just exactly the same. All of it, one to one. And now we're back to. And back to Jack. Yeah. Hidden. These landscapes. I will say that. We were worried about the um, the amount of time, but they were quite expeditious. Uh, yeah. I think it was like John pointed out the uh, the montage of the uh, fight at the hospital. That was a good yep, choice. That was a way to do it. Yep. yep. Well, looks like we're walking. Well, she got us close enough. We got to walk the rest of the way. Should be a straight shot through here. All right. It's actually kind of pretty, ain't it? Yeah. Probably about a five-hour hike. We can manage that. Yeah. All right. Now watch your head going through. Yeah. I got it. Oh, Feeling my age now. Well, Sarah and I used to hike like this all the time. I wouldn't say it was her favorite thing. She wasn't a fan of the mosquitoes and such. I don't think I ever told you, but uh, Sarah and I used to take hikes like this. She would have liked you. Not to say the two of you are the same. But... I think, uh, I think the two of you would have been, would have been good friends. If you really would have liked. Definitely different kids. How so? Well, she was a lot more. I know she would have liked you. I bet I would have. I want to say girly, and I'm not saying that you're not girly. I'm not. No. Down there? Yeah, you're not. So that... <laughs> it's a little bit further now. She had a killer smile. Again, not saying that you don't. But you know why I think she'd like you? Why? Because you're funny. I think you would have made her laugh. Anyway, I bet you would have liked her back. Yeah, bet I would have. Hey, wait. Back in Boston? Hey, wait. 
Back when I was bitten, I wasn't alone. Back in Kansas City, you asked me about the first time I killed someone. When I got bit in the mall, I, I wasn't on my own. My best friend was there. My best friend was there. And she got bit too. We didn't know what to do. And she got bit too. We didn't know what to do, and she says... So... She says... We can just wait it out. Be all poetic and just lose our minds together. Let's just wait it out. You know, we can be all poetic and just lose our minds together. And then she did. And I had to... I'm still waiting for my turn. Ellie. Her name was Riley, and she was the first to die. Her name was Riley. And she was the first to die. And then it was Tess. And then it was Tess. And then Sam. None of that is on you. And then Sam. That's not on you. I know. It... Look, sometimes things don't work out the way we hope. You can feel like... Like you've come to an end. You don't understand. I struggled for a long time with surviving. And you... And you don't know what to do next. But if you just keep going... No matter what... You keep finding something to fight for. You find something new to fight for. And maybe that's not I what you want... Swear to me. Now, I know that's not what you want to hear right I now. Swear Bell, to me. Swear to me that everything you said about the Fireflies is true. Swear to me that everything that you've said about the Fireflies is true. I swear. I swear. sense that there's some oh it's getting big or maybe it's always been that big it is well tough the to thing really is that tell. jackson looks reasonably big but you don't go to jackson in the game uh in the first one i'll see it, it like from, this right? uh, outside yeah. like this angle yeah and this will be our conflict for season two the Finds thing about this is soon or maybe she never will a lot of interpretations know. from people at the game is that she knows he's lying okay. yeah but she accepts it it's that that's nod. an interpretation that's, uh, yeah that's yeah yeah, um, we did it. Of hey, we did it, everybody. Yeah, we we, we made it. it. We're safe. We season one is complete. Out. We're safe season one for a while. Complete, and it's a nice, good season of television, right there. That's. Uh, I think that's good. Yeah, this is a this is a solid yeah. season, and hopefully the reception to the season. ending will make them think well, about so really carefully what they're going to do with season two. At the beginning of the season, I don't think we expected it to be that, but I mean that was pretty close to the game. There's obviously yeah. differences here or there, but like a lot of the yeah. major beats were there, and I mean, the, it's the closest to is, a game as far as adaptations go that we've ever seen. The critical part, though, is the whole conflict there. Oh god, I'm so relieved. <laughs> I know, right? It's just like, oh, yeah, we're there. Oh. All right, cool. Yeah, now <laughs> I will say, the Gotham show without me feeling like shit. This is, this gives me the impression that they will be on script for the Last of Us two the season two. I, uh, I imagine we're going to be seeing it one to one. Hey, yeah, I, uh, I there is that, but the thing is, it's like, dude, at least we got this, all right? <laughs> we did, we did get it, and this is. Yeah, I don't know what they're going to do. The, I don't, I, mean, I don't think we're going to get changes that make Last of Us two better. I think it's going to be pretty much one to one. It's it's going to be about mm. whether or not they feel the, the need same, to change certain things a lot of what oh, destroys that game for me gonna happen. is so many small decisions made by characters there's a lot of big ones too but just things that can be changed to improve the story we've said since the mm. beginning you can kill joel you can you just, can do it it's it's always not gonna like be that. probably unpopular but you gotta but that's the thing at if least they, we've got a season one that hasn't been drastically mired by the existence of uh of the last of us part two yeah it's so weird to think that they would take two 
and know what the reception is to that game and then do a second mm. season of TV like it. By comparison to what they've done here, which is more or less follow the broad strokes of uh, of the original game. Obviously, some notable changes here and there, broadly following the same strokes. Do they do the same thing with The Last of Us 2 of like the same general structure, the same core theme, the same, you know, lines of dialogue? I'm not sure, but I'm just relieved we've got season one here. In the bag. It's nice and yeah. It's there. They did it. Great there are flaws. There are plenty. Production. There's plenty of oh, yeah, yeah, praise. Sure. Yep. But my God, um, it came through as a TV show, I think. I think so, too. The one thing I guess um, I'm sad about is I could never else. experience the show without knowing about the game. I'd be curious how that goes. <laughs> yeah, what does that look like? Because had, um, all of us... Uh, yeah. A guest on Open Bar was saying that like his POV was knowing nothing about the games. He was really enjoying the show. And I'd be like, I wonder if it plays better without knowing all of the things that could be, so to speak. Um, uh, because you've I'm literally sure. seen it happen, as opposed to just potential to TV show storytelling, you know? Well, and that this show has the unique thing operating that some people who have played the games are coming into the show like, yeah, and season and you know, The Last of Us 2 is great. Whereas um there's some of us as well who are coming into this. Yeah, I really like The Last of Us One. <laughs> Not so big fans of two and it's hard not to imagine that two is influencing one but seemingly not a whole lot because there were seeds that were definitely planted for two but they were not substantial yeah and, um, and i get it right the idea being that this is what someone will do for one person right that's what this whole story is about that this is how far he'll go for one person but what if Season two, what if one of the people he killed was someone that someone else will do everything for? You know, that's possible. What happens then? It's like, oh, that sounds interesting. You yep. know? <laughs> like, so. If you do that idea good, yeah, that could uh, sort of be quite that's a story. The thing is, we're simply not there good. yet. All we've got is uh, this season, and I think they did a really good job. I think, mean, yeah, I think so too. Um, uh, I'm really I happy think... with the performances as well. Like, uh, oh, absolutely. yeah, I'm, I'm absolutely. super happy with the performances of basically everybody. I can't think of any weak performances in this, this show. And production has been awesome. It's been so nice that they also, you know, brought back the composer, brought back some of the original actors from the game. Really it's, nice it's touch a, that they did not have to do. It is an adaptation that certainly has a greater degree of reverence for the original material than uh, some How, other. That's nice to see. Video game How could you conclude anything else? Movie, this yeah. is obviously the best video game adaptation from the standpoint of faithfulness. Is there anything that could possibly uh, beat this? Faithfulness, like, I can't think of anything on faith because I think Arcane is the stronger television show. Um, I agree. Oh yeah. Yeah. I but, but I mean if you look at other ones, Uncharted was pretty lame. Um Halo was awful. Mortal Kombat is like, eh, you know, it's not I don't great. Even know, yeah, what's going um on? And a lot of it is more, and Sonic the Hedgehog, you know, it's like, <laughs> like uh, I guess it's more interesting forward looking because we've got a lot of things that are coming now based on, you know, we've got God of War, Bioshock, Gears of War, Horizon. There's a lot of uh, mm. Mario Brothers. I'm so out. hoping well, this Mario show, Brothers. Mm, what this that show can like? act as like a big old flagship for the era of, oh shit, maybe there's something to these game stories. Well, maybe we should pay attention Arcane, to them. Because unfortunately, Arcane being an animated show, unfortunately, it just means that for some reason, a lot lot of its uh, merits just get overlooked by a mass well, yeah, and audience. This is I'm one of also, the most successful shows on HBO. The thing is that the, the League like storylines weren't taken almost directly and put into Arcane. No, this no, was, where this is a very direct adaptation, and it's been a tremendous success commercially and critically. I mean, I it's think, earned it. I, I think so, at this I point. Think um, too, yeah. I think that by the end of this season, I think that the game is... I think I prefer the game still. I still prefer the game too. Yeah. I, um, however, don't scoff at this show. The... This is a good show. No, no, no. I would, I would recommend it to somebody who enjoyed the game or somebody who hasn't played the game. I think that it, it is a matter of there just wasn't as much time. The game got to have more time of just Joel and Ellie moving through environments and talking to each other. This show lost some of that, yeah. and so it's like the game simply has more good material in it. I think. Yeah, it build. I mean. It's just more time to build, and therefore the payoffs uh, will hit harder. Yep. It's just uh, a simple and there's something bit of math, said, I guess. Uh, as well of a game sort of uh more integrating you into you know you're not just watching joel you're playing as joel and then you're playing as elliot certain parts as well i was wondering in the finale if we were going to get a big old horde of infected and if there are complaints about the finale i imagine that might be one of them but it didn't bother me well, because we're... they focused on all the big character stuff all all yes. the important stuff is there feels to me the yep. same as the previous episode where it's like oh there really wasn't much infected 
at all. And it's like, is that a problem? It's like, well, I'd like to see him, but no. It doesn't mm -hmm. make the episode bad or worse because there's no infected. No, it's like episode five was the big blowout episode with the infected, and then afterward it's, you know. Yeah, um, yeah. and I can see people already right now saying, oh yes, it's totally fine for the zombie survival show thing to not even have enemies. Yes, that makes sense. It's like, well, I hate genre arguments. They drive me nuts. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like them either, because uh, they're often weird and confused and um, hard to be consistent about. This show, what everyone I think agrees on, what is what is The Last of Us and IP about? It's like Joel and Ellie, that's what it's about. And uh, they definitely came through on that, certainly in these last two episodes, in terms of what's happening to these two people. Yeah. But yeah, I, I happily concede I would have liked to see more Raider encounters. I would have liked to see more zombie encounters. I would have liked to see more time with everyone. Everyone. Yep. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, uh, and yeah, I, honestly I, I think feel like the zombies were a bit sparse. If we'd gotten all those things, if the season was like, you know, 18 episodes. 13 imagine. episodes. I think um, I could you could push it to 13 and that would be enough. Yeah, no, I don't disagree with that. I just mean, fuck it. Let's go. Let's 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 go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> let's get to why not have I a 22 if episode season? It's just a matter season. of, uh, at that point, it's just a matter of how much money is this season going to cost. I don't <laughs> you <know>? care. <laughs> I don't care. Yeah, make it as, uh, as long as necessary. Well, what I was going to say is, I think it. If we had that and it was as good as this is, if not slightly better in terms of just your quality per episode, I'd be happy to call it great. I don't think I'm quite at the position of calling it great. I'm not quite there either. Um, yeah, it's got great things about it, but overall... It's got a lot of great moments, but yeah, yeah I'm not sure I'm there yet. I think there's enough dragging there, it back think. that I would uh, settle on good. It's very good. It is I'm, I'm comfortable good. with good. Definitely. I'm comfortable with good. Maybe teetering towards very good. A lot of the conversations can immediately be about how it compares to the game or whether or not it's stacked up or is it good enough to pass muster when it's like, probably should talk about the storytelling decisions. What happened in this episode similarly to the game? Why are they important? It's like, well, so much effort was put into finalizing and being definitive about what relationship they have. And then you put Joel in the position of what, what's been presented by the Fireflies. And I just think it's crystallized the moment she says, you know, I understand I've got this with the, her mum. I did these promises, blah, blah, blah. I really got no choice. This is what I've got to do. Basically, like, I can't change this. And then he's like, I can. And then Joel says, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I, you're forgetting about me. I can choose, and I'm, I'm going to choose differently than you. I really enjoy the fact that Marlene's not. Nobody's stupid enough in this moment to believe. Like it's like. Ah, okay, so you need to get the fuck out then. Like, this is what I mean. I, as much as I don't like the Fireflies, I still get the decisions they're making. I even get the decision yeah. they're making with Ellie. It's just, I'm sorry, you've made it. This is the kind of conflict you fucking love, where you can understand why the decision was made, and now you're like, well, you know what happens next is he fucking kills you. That's what happens next. Yeah, messing with his. His girl. So I, would, I would feel yeah, comfortable huh? at this point saying his daughter, he totally sees her like that. Yep. Yeah. And but then, of course, it's just, you know, of the elements intact from the game, she didn't get to choose. She didn't get to make a real informed choice. Yeah, and there's stuff to think about for exactly why Joel does what he does. And then there's conversations to have whether or not you support his decision or not. But um, people have no and problem with the game, and I doubt they'll have a problem with the show believing no. I would do the same thing if I were a dad in that situation. Exactly. And then, of course, it's uh, the same as in the game, right, with Ellie's, you know, what does her okay mean? Problem is that in the games, we now know that it wasn't quite that. <laughs> Uh, yeah, of, I can't understate how fucking uh, happy I am. Yeah. They left it ambiguous in the season one. Thank you. Thank yeah. you so much for Which, that. Uh, that's right. That was the good choice because, yeah, the, as, as a viewer, whether or not you played the game or not, you're just left to ponder... Mm, does she actually know what's happened and has accepted this? Does she really believe him? It's it's a great ending. Yeah, because uh, I remember conversations about it at first, and it's just like the thing, the takeaway I had, and this is part of what pissed everybody off about the Last of Us Two was she knows what he's done, she knows why he's done it. That's what the, it felt to me. That's what the fucking point of that conversation they had up to that point was. He's explaining how much he adored his daughter and how much he sees of his daughter in her, and she's like, "Ah, oh, shit. Okay, look, you yeah. killed everybody to save me, didn't you?" And he's like, right. "No," and then she's like. Okay. The recognition to me was always a matter of, like, you're never going to tell me the truth, and I know why you're not going to tell me. Let's move on. Yeah, this yeah. is not, like, no conflict here is going to really move this forward. So let's just, we, we got something, let's keep going. And there, there is no hesitation on Joel's part in his affirmation of the lie. It's like, I told you the truth, and she, she knows just by that. It's like, you're not going to be straight with me are you like i'm not gonna get it out of you so okay all right it always frustrated people as well about the second game that he just he does such a piss poor job of explaining why he made the decision once he has to to her they that's need another to thing. because yeah of that, their objectives yeah. in the narrative he needs to he needs to be bad 
<laughs> that's how it comes himself. across, yeah. They because that's thing, the last of us do fight so hard to contextualize Joel's actions as like completely inexcusable and and irrational, and it has to fight so hard to try and convince the audience of that, bending and buckling and breaking at every turn. But it doesn't matter what happens in season two at this point, because season one, it's it's this it's the game. Not not quite, but you know, it, it is the game in that it is a complete story it's a complete package and yeah um i assume part of what she was getting at when she was explaining all the people who've died is that that was supposed to come to a real significant point like a cure right but then he cuts her off to say hey, 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 hey. meaning and what we live for and what we fight for it doesn't have to be that it could be anything and it'll be something something will come that makes it all worthwhile you can look back it's like horrible things happen because i i think it's clear to both of them exactly what both of them are thinking about and that's why it's such a great scene and it was in the game and i it think is it, there. i think it's worth emphasizing that what we've got here in terms of a season of television is one that's really thematically strong it's got great core arcs for these main characters like that is really it's really like intact i feel like that's something i want to emphasize amidst all of the uh criticism being levied at at the show and some of it i imagine just you know stemming from the meta i mean it's worth taking stock of what we've got here as a season of television i'm also curious about the people who think he's like soy beta cuck joel uh, after that hospital scene <laughs> yeah <laughs> I don't what know. Exactly, because that was about as far as you're gonna get from soy beta cuck <laughs> joel <laughs> You know? He just fucking annihilated so many of them. And we even had him executing people who were either dying anyway or giving up. Which, yeah, it's just, uh, this is always something I thought there was potential within him. He's, uh, a lot of the scenes where he's holding back, he has the history. They set it all up with Tommy. That's why Tommy didn't like being with him. Was the, this was the shit he would do to make sure they survive. And something else I appreciated, honestly, was that we kind of kept mm -hmm. all of the things that we needed to keep the same. I was kind of worried that he might just execute all the doctors and shit, but no, uh, they actually do show uh, the doctor grabbing the scalpel, and he's about an inch away from going for Joel, and he shoots him. I was like, yes! They did it! Properly! Because he could have just had it that he was like, oh my, like, what are you doing, sir? And he just goes, boom, 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 just like, yeah. oh, like, cowering in a corner and stuff. They made and sure... Like, Please don't shoot me, huh? Yeah, they made sure to have everybody he kills be a threat, at least, uh, overtly. Some the, regard, the, the most yeah. one you could consider is the threat surrendering guy, but I'm more than happy to say like yeah you're gonna have to you yeah, can't just leave him there could, like yeah he could like pick up the gun when i'm gone and see what's up well it's just I mean, especially that, when you've got other enemies around with other guns you need to get rid of him i, I can understand in especially the especially since i think that guy was shooting at him before anyway like a moment beforehand more than likely yeah and then he got the jump on him through whatever move but um yeah there's that there's of course uh they, they leave him what do they say they leave him with his pack and a knife so not only are they welched it. on the yeah. deal but who knows what else they he didn't get his rifle even so it's all there this show i almost want to not have the game in my head so that I can better see like all the connecting pieces instead of just being like well I know that's there because that's how that worked before I know what you mean yeah I was thinking the same. Pretty it's happy nice. and relieved. Oh, it could have yeah. gone so much worse. It yeah, could have gone. Been. It could have been terrible. It could have been completely re-engineered to fit like a Last of Us Two focused. Mm -hmm. um, Everyone so. expected it to all be altered to either better fit Last of Us Two or to just better fit new values. As a storyteller who's doing it again, it's like you know what? I changed my mind. Blah, blah blah. I never thought it would be this accurate. Nope, I didn't think so either. You saw how we talked about it before it started. We were not really expecting this to be good, but. I'm impressed. Yeah, the same. I like that the showrunners bring in the infected when they need them. Like in episode five, you build up this confrontation between what's her face and her gang and our heroes. And it's like they're outnumbered. They're in danger. At that point, you bring a horde of infected in to kind of disrupt that conflict. And then our heroes take advantage of the chaos to like escape with their lives and in this there is a big old infected segment from the game that was cut out but it's nothing of character was lost all you're really missing from that getting chopped out from this end segment is this sort of last minute panic of like oh god is ellie dead like and also the fact that ellie knowing that she can't swim she was willing to risk her life to save joel yeah and then, like, he pulls her out of the water, and it's like, oh my god, is she dead? Has this all been for nothing? And she's desperately trying to save her. There's a little something there that's cool, but you don't need it. All the important beats were covered. We already know from in the show that Ellie is willing to go out of her way to save Joel's life, given that she, how he, she looked after him in the winter phase when he's, like, in... Hold oh, up dude, in it's the, such a dramatic 
change in attitude that he has with her that you see so yeah. quickly like and we were commenting on it at the time it's just uh it's all supported he's not only feeling incredibly in debt to her and trusts her and kind of loves her at this point he also wants yeah. her to feel better yeah and he knows what appeals to her he's been with her for a while now i just want to say thanks for inviting me to to watch this and talk about this with no you absolutely guys. dude this is this kind of a first because as much as we did the haunting of hill house that's not quite the same as this this was a you know back and forth of the audience taking it week by week checking it out and i think uh i have absolutely no regrets about asking you to come and join us for it thank you for, yeah. for doing that yep, exactly yeah it's been good oh um, man i've been stoked yeah i just hope your chat isn't too sick of me at this point <laughs> but if you are it's okay this is the last one well i can suck it uh, up <laughs> yeah i hope you're right chat <laughs> hope you're doing okay today we I liked it of, okay guys a lot of people think i'm clinically brain dead for liking the last of us part two but you guys had me on we anyway can talk about that when season tolerates. two happens all right well i was gonna <laughs> say <laughs> you know i i will uh it, encouragingly bring you back for the coverage of the season two for the tv show and that will be uh really <laughs> that'll really, be interesting that's yeah. gonna be something yeah because you know th th that's gonna be weird because it's, it's just will they adapt that accurately and if so that's that's even longer than The Last of Us 1. Probably Good luck, Craig. <laughs> Good yeah. luck. All right, Craig. There's a I lot hope, of people. I hope, Craig, I hope that you understand Ooh. that there the are many, many people. People hate The Last of Us too. You well, I'm, really I'm not going to lie. Careful. There's no need. I'll just say, like, if everything runs the same and I have to see it again with these two, I'm going to be pissed off as fuck. Yeah, again. this will. Yep. It, it'll be like watching it all it'll over just again. Be the same for a thing. Lot of yeah, exactly. They'll ruin everything that they had worked to build in the first season. And, and John will be there to be like, well, hey, wait, you know. Hang on, fellas. You've done the one that everyone likes. So now time to do the one that is divisive <laughs> as fucking TLJ. Yep. And on that note, that is the Last of Us finale. Done. Yeah. The whole season. Woo! Thank you. One so much for down. joining us, everybody. Appreciate it. And um, let us know if you want to see more for these sorts of things with different shows in future. Could do a older ones, could do newer ones. Like I said, I'll happily uh, ask all of you to cover the second season of this whenever it comes out. We got Gotham Knights and Mandalorian are the next ones, so... <laughs> Gotham Knights and Mandalorian. <laughs> awesome. And of course, took a second to let all that sink in. Yep. And, uh, you know, of course, Batwomans are still going to be coming out. And uh, it might be as well that we eventually get around to watching his story continue into the final season of Flash. That's something I've seen clips of. I could see us doing that at some point. But uh, I got it just, you know, just want to let people know. A lot of work goes into making uh, and editing these. And so, you know, it's not just a matter of like, tick a box and you get that show. Let's just do it. It's like, no, no, it takes like days to not only schedule, set up, download, upload, edit out you know yeah, copyright. copyright and all that yeah we try and bring you as much as we can and hopefully this was a fun adventure for you all you know good work to everyone for ed editing these putting them together good work for making a good show i didn't hate it congratulations i didn't hate it that's a thumbs up and now we can uh breathe a little bit of a sigh of a relief until um you know until yep. season two happens and we're worried again thanks everybody toodle beep thank you good bye. bye 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 Desert Eagle can shoot through any- What'd you bring me?